this video I'm going to tell about ethanol ethanol C2H5OH the formula is chemical formula is C2H5OH and it is the second member of the formula series of alcohol the first member is methanol CH3OH CH3OH it is so ethanol is the second member so the common name of ethanol is ethyl alcohol and it is and is commonly known as alcohol so when the term alcohol is used it means ethyl alcohol simply ethyl alcohol it is used for okay drinking purpose uh, now how question is how ethanol is prepared so ethanol can be prepared by many methods here uh, the one of the industrial method of preparing ethanol is by the method of fermentation of sugar okay fermentation of sugar so ethanol is prepared on commercial scale by fermentation of sugar molasses is a chief source of sugar molasses you know what is molasses so it is a dark colored viscous liquid left over the crystallization of sugar from concentrated sugar cane juice and molasses contains about 30% of lift, lift over okay, sugar. So molasses contain about 30% of lift over sugar. So with this molasses, alcohol is prepared and uh, using the yeast extract, yeast extract which contains enzyme invertage and gymage. Okay. So fermentation is allowed to take place at 298 to 303 Kelvin. This is the temperature, it's okay, in the absence of air. Yes, so fermentation is allowed to take place between the temperature 298 to 303 Kelvin in absence of air. So this is because ethanol gets oxidized to ethanoic acid okay, in the presence of the air, yes. So why not the air is used here now? You know air contains oxygen and that is very reactive gas. Therefore, alcohol is prepared from the molasses in the absence of air, not in the presence of air because it uh, ethanol will get oxidized into ethanoic acid okay <clears throat> you know the fermented liquid so obtained contains up to 10 percent of alcohol okay that is contains 10 percent of alcohol from this dilute solution ethanol is recovered by fractional distillation fractional distillation this gives about 93 to 95 percent pure alcohol yeah so that is obtained by fractional distillation it is and that gives about 93 to 95 percent alcohol now what are the physical properties of ethanol physical properties of ethanol ethanol is a typical and most widely used alcohol some important physical properties of ethanol okay are as follow number one you know physical state color and odor so ethanol is colorless it doesn't know it has no color it is just like water inflammable liquid yes it catches fire easily with a okay uh, and with uh, a burning taste it, it has it is a burning taste everybody, everybody cannot consume alcohol 
is very burning taste it is okay now boiling and melting point so ethanol boils at 78.1 degrees celsius 78.1 degrees celsius and freezes at minus 118 degrees celsius freezes is minus 118 degrees celsius now now solubility ethanol is miscible with water in all proportions yes it is miscible okay in all proportions uh, ethanol dissolves in water due to the formation of hydrogen bond with water molecules straight so it forms bond with hydrogen molecule and therefore it is soluble in all proportions now the conductivity of alcohol conductivity yeah so ethanol does not conduct electricity yes it does not conduct electricity this is because ethanol is a covalent compound and covalent compound does not dissociate or does not form iron uh, iron it is therefore ethanol does not conduct electricity action of litmus ethanol is neutral to compound okay it's a neutral compound so it has no effect on litmus paper yes it is neither acidic nor basic it is it is neutral just like water it is a neutral compound now the chemical properties of ethanol so ethanol gives all typical chemical reactions of alcohol some important chemical reactions given by ethanol okay is combustion is a combustion or burning you can say so ethanol is an inflammable liquid inflammable it catches fire easily ethanol burns in the air with a pale blue flame pale blue flame okay the slightly yellow and blue flame are uh, forming carbon di dioxide and water and they uh, and okay and uh, evolving heat and giving out a lot of heat so thus combustion of ethanol is an exothermic reaction okay combustion of ethanol is a exothermic reaction it is right just i am going to show you the reaction between ethanol and oxygen now see the reaction see the reaction the reaction the oxidation reaction of ethanol oxidation means addition of oxygen so okay see what happens here now okay reaction between oxygen and ethanol see what do we get we get now carbon dioxide water and a lot of heat a lot of heat we are getting here now therefore the okay, reaction is highly exothermic means it gives out too much of heat okay on burning this is the reaction this is ethanol or you can say ethyl alcohol plus oxygen okay and this is oxidation it is so that gives carbon dioxide plus water and plus heat this is the reaction or uh, this is the reaction between ethyl okay ethanol and oxygen or you can say oxidation reaction of ethanol now second chemical property is the reaction with sodium metal yeah the reaction with sodium metal you know ethanol react with sodium metal to form sodium ethoxide and hydrogen yes so ethanol you know even if this is not an acid but sodium react with ethanol to give hydrogen gas okay so i just i'm going to show you the reaction just i'm going to show you the reaction now see the reaction this is the reaction 
between ethanol and sodium. Ethanol and sodium, it forms sodium ethoxide and hydrogen. So, right? This is the reaction. This is sodium ethoxide here now. This is sodium ethoxide. So, right? So, this is sodium ethoxide. Yeah. Now, the third chemical reaction is oxidation. Ethanol can be oxidized by any of the method. Okay. Okay, just I'm going to tell you any of the method. I'm just going to tell you about it. So, with chromium and hydride, yes, ethanol can be oxidized using chromium and hydride in acidic. Okay, in in acidic acid. Okay, uh, uh, ethanol do. Now the next when one which is most important reaction with alcohol is uh, esterification. It's called esterification. So you know ethanol when heated with ethanoic acid. Ethanol when heated with ethanoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid gives ethanoid, ethyl ethanoid. Okay, ethyl ethanoid, or you can say ester of ethyl. Okay, ethanoid is a sweet smelling compound, and this we have to do in the practical. Okay, in the in the chemistry particle we have to do this experiment. So when ethanol, okay, is heated with it, okay, ethanoic acid in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid is gift ethyl ethanoid and water. This ethyl ethanoid is also known as ethyl acetate or sweet it is sweet smelling compound. This is sweet smelling compound. It's okay. So in this reaction concentrated sulfuric acid is a catalyst as well as a dehydrating agent. Yes a dehydrating agent. What is Mean by dehydrating agent means it take out the water molecule from a compound. It makes it dehydrating agent. That is called dehydrating agent. It is here. I just I'm going to show you. Now see how alcohol reacts with acetic acid uh, to form ethyl ethanoid and water in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid see in this way this is you know this is uh, ethanoic acid ethanoic acid this is uh, ethanol and okay it is heated look at delta this triangle means it is heating okay this is for heating and uh, in the presence of okay in the okay the heating uh, in the presence of this uh, sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid means Two or three drops of of concentrated acids is uh, is dropped into the solution, into the into the mixture. It is and heated. So what you get, we get now sodium. Okay, this is uh, this is uh, not sodium. This is ethyl ethanoid. This is ethyl ethanoid and water we are getting. This is ethyl ethanoid and water. This is this is ethyl ethanoid and water you are getting here. Now water, this is water. It's correct. So ethyl ethanoid. This is important. Okay, reaction. Now ethanol is also used uh, for dehydrating purpose. Okay, ethanol when heated with excess of concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 Kelvin. Okay, gets dehydrated to give ethene. It is ethene. Yes, so ethanol gives ethene when it is heated and with concentrated sulfuric acid. It's okay. It gives acidity here. Yeah. yeah. So just I'm showing you the reaction. Now see the reaction between uh, this uh, alcohol with excess of 
sulfuric acid when heated up to temperature 443 Kelvin, then the product obtained is ethene and water. It's okay. So this sulfuric acid dehydrates alcohol and it becomes ethene. It's okay. And we get this uh, water. We get this. Yeah. Now, what are the uses of ethanol? So it is used as a fuel for lamps and stoves. Yeah, but the first thing used as fuels okay for lamps and stoves. Okay, second as a substitution of petrol in internal combustion engine of scooters and cars. Yeah, this is important here. It is, yeah, it is used as a okay internal combustion engine. Okay, in scooters and cars. As a solvent for drug okay, tinctures, is there. okay, drug tincture. You know, uh, all these uh, uh, um, cough syrups are are dissolved in this ethanol. Yes, cough, cough syrup. It is used also to uh, 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 some oils are also dissolved too. Okay, perfumes, inks, dyes, varnishes, etc. Okay, so it is used as a solvent, solvent, okay, ethanol is used as a solvent. Now next one it is as a beverage, yes, as a beverage where, uh, where this bakery, okay, um, where there is a bakery uh, items are made, okay, so, okay, so that is called beverages and or making alcohols also, alcohols. As a preservative for biological specimen, yes, yeah, this is very important. You know, ethanol is used as a as a preservative. It doesn't allow to to okay, get damage or or, or to uh, or, or to uh, rotten it is here. It is just preventive. Okay, prevent it. So it is used as biological okay preservation of biological okay, specimen as an antifreeze for automobile radiators. Yes, antifreeze. Okay, for automobile radiators, for the manufacture of terylene and polythene, yeah, this is used for making terylene and, and this polythene, okay, this alcohol. Now, as a raw material for large number of organic compounds such as ester, chloroform, endoform, etc., okay, this is used, yeah, to make large number of these compounds of carbon, it's okay. And last but not the least, as an antiseptic to sterilize wounds and and uh, syringes in hospitals. Yes, it is used to okay sterilize or wash to make it jump free. Right. Yeah. Now the harmful effect of drinking alcohol. Number one is. Uh, So drinking of alcohol causes loss of senses and slows down okay, the reflex action. It slows down the reflex action. Large intake of alcohol may lead to the loss of consciousness. Yes, if you have someone has drinking a large quantity, then he is not okay within himself or herself. It's okay. So he or she thinks, thinks something else. It is you know. Okay, he okay he doesn't uh, have the sense now when he drinks a large quantity of alcohol. <coughs> and the drinking of alcohol over a long period of time damages liver. Of course, it damages the liver. You know, liver is a very important part of digestive system. So it damages the liver. Now. What is denatured alcohol? Denatured alcohol. Okay, when ethyl alcohol is okay, uh, ethyl ethanol uh, to which certain poisonous and okay uh, and uh, certain poisonous substances like methyl alcohol, pyridine, copper sulfate, etc., have been added in terms to denatured alcohol. Yeah. You know, alcohol, uh, 
is denatured by uh, okay by uh, by just adding this uh, methyl alcohol pyridine copper sulfate etc to make it unfit for drinking purpose okay yes so that is called denatured alcohol now what is the harmful effects of drinking denatured alcohol yeah denatured so it is very okay, deadly harmful it is so drinking denatured alcohol effect vision and may cause blindness yes okay it, it affects the vision okay, very much it is and it, and, it, and it will it will make you blind also now drinking denatured alcohol cause unconsciousness or many other okay common diseases it is here, yes it makes unconsciousness okay you don't have the ability to to judge right or wrong it is here so that's the unconsciousness now question is now question is uh, why alcohol is denatured so ethanol is one of the most important industrial chemical all alcoholic beverages contain ethanol so the alcohol to be used in industry is subjected to lower to lower excise duty whereas the alcoholic beverages are okay, subjected to very high excise duty yes most of the excise duty comes from alcohol yes alcohol it is yes so thus the alcohol is to be is used in industry okay is cheaper okay so to prevent its misuse for drinking purpose the alcohol to be used in industries is made unfit for drinking by drinking uh, okay uh, during uh, 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 in which that causes uh, poisonous substances it's high alcohol when mix up with ethanol methanol okay it makes the alcohol poisonous okay and this is called denature okay denaturation of alcohol yes denaturation of alcohol so today i have explained uh, the alcohol next time i'll explain something else i think it is a very it will be very useful video for you all so watch it enjoy it and thank you